So here's a question I get a lot on MC Rider. Can you do a video on graded bridges and ridged roads? Well, my answer to that, sure, let's talk about it this week on MC Rider. You know, fall is here. In some parts of the country, riders are getting their motorcycle ready for winter hibernation. If you're like me and I can't ride motorcycles, I still do something or need something to fill that motorcycle gap. Why don't you consider becoming a member of MC Rider? You can join us on the forum. You can read about motorcycles, talk about motorcycles, share and learn riding tips and more on the forums at MC Rider. So spend your winter hibernating with us on the forums and support the weekly videos here at MC Rider. You'll also get access to the field guide, a member map so you can locate riders in your area. You also can get ad-free videos and MC Rider merchandise, all found at mcrider.com slash member. You can also now pay directly with a credit card or through PayPal, your choice. So for those of you who want to avoid PayPal, you can now do that at mcrider.com slash member. Graded bridges or grooves on the road surface can be an unnerving experience. You know, small grooves in the road cause the tire to wiggle back and forth and that is fed back through the handlebars. It can also cause a motorcycle to shift left and right depending on the angle of the grooves as you cross over them. Groove surfaces tend to make us tense, especially when we're not expecting that movement. There are three primary reactions that we have when we cross a groove surface. We tighten up, we might slow down by chopping the throttle off, or worse, aggressively braking and grabbing that front brake, and we tend to look down at the problem. Those are all natural reactions when we cross over a groove surface and the motorcycle starts doing things that we don't expect it to do, and all three things are things that we want to avoid when crossing over a groove surface because they all work against us. So let's look at each response and why it only makes the problem worse. You know, one of the first things that we do is we tighten up. We tighten up on our shoulders. We tighten up our grips on the hand grips. We lock those elbows in, especially when we're caught by surprise by the handlebars shaking back and forth as the motorcycle crosses over the grooves. Remember, we're supposed to keep our upper body and our grip on the hand grips relaxed so the motorcycle can flow a little bit as it's going over the grooves. Kind of picture holding a raw egg. You hold it too tight, you bust the egg. You hold it too loose, you obviously lose your grip, but you want that right amount of grip. So imagine that as you're holding on to the hand grips of the motorcycle, not too tight, not too loose, just relaxed in a comfortable grip. So what's actually happening when the handlebars move back and forth and the motorcycle drifts back and forth? It's that front tire looking for increased traction and finding a path through that groove surface. The tire is doing exactly what it's supposed to do, and when we tighten up, everything in response to that, we're fighting against the motorcycle's ability to do its job. So stay loose, maintain a relaxed grip, keep that bend in your elbows, keep your shoulders relaxed. If you need to hold on tighter to the motorcycle, squeeze your knees on the tank. You'll be less fatigued, the motorcycle will do its job, and you'll cross over that groove section with no further consequence. The more you fight the natural movement of those handlebars, the more you're fighting against the motorcycle and its ability to do its job and to get you over that groove surface. The second natural reaction to this is to chop the throttle off, or even worse, to reach out and grab that front brake in an attempt to slow down. So what happens on a motorcycle when we apply the front brake or we chop the throttle? The weight of that motorcycle transfers to the front tire as the weight transfers to the front of the motorcycle. So it's a good thing when we need to stop in an emergency, that tire digging further into the surface of the road, it's a bad thing when we're wanting to cross over a groove surface. When we chop the throttle or we apply the front brakes, weight transfers to the front of the motorcycle, goes into the forks, the forks push that front tire further into the pavement and it causes that tire to react more to the surface of the pavement. Again, it's great for emergency braking, but bad when we want to minimize the effect of a grooved surface. Because the tire is forced further into the grooves, causing more feedback. This sometimes causes us to tighten up even more. We're gonna slow down even more in an attempt to fight it. And that tire more and more interlocks with the pavement as we slow down, pushing that tire further into the grooves causing more feedback and just makes the problem worse. So we're much better off maintaining the throttle if we've got room to do so as we cross over that groove surface. 
This causes the tire, the front tire, to be a little bit lighter. It's still going to move back and forth. You're going to feel it as it's searching its way through that groove surface, but not nearly as extreme as it would be if we're applying more pressure to that front tire and driving it further into the grooves on that surface. The third big mistake that we make when we hit a groove surface is what we do with our head and eyes. We immediately look down to see what's going on. You know, our sense of speed and balance on a motorcycle is really affected by where we're looking when we're riding a motorcycle. If we look down at that front tire to see what's going on, we lose our e equilibrium, it's thrown off, and even further, that movement of the motorcycle seems more extreme because we're looking down rather than keeping our eyes up where we want the motorcycle to go. Everything gets exaggerated, all that movement, by looking down at that front tire to see what's going on. We can easily fix this by looking where we want the motorcycle to go, keeping those head and eyes up, looking up the road or across the bridge or through that construction area will help us maintain a better sense of balance as we cross through that rough patch of road. Crossing graded bridges or grooved roads is a perfect example of our natural response to a situation that actually makes the situation worse rather than better. Anytime that motorcycle does something we don't expect it to do, we have a reaction to it. But now that you understand what the normal reaction of the motorcycle is, maybe you can relax a little more and allow the motorcycle to do its job. So instead of fighting the movement of the handlebars, relax. Get those arms, shoulders, elbows relaxed. Keep a relaxed grip on the hand grips. Instead of slowing down while on the groove surface, maintain the throttle so that you're continuing to push through it and keeping that front tire light lighter. And instead of looking down at that front tire, keep your head and eyes up, look where you want that motorcycle to go, and it's gonna make the sense of movement or loss of balance a whole lot less if you're looking on the horizon rather than looking down at the ground. You know, it's gonna take a few passes over a surface like this to get a feel for it, but in no time, if you've got that knowledge in your head and you can you know, talk yourself into just relaxing that it won't take a whole lot of passes before you can get over a surface like this and it will be a whole lot smoother and a whole lot less stressful. You know, if you're surprised by these type of surfaces, it may be a symptom of another issue, not looking far enough ahead to see that groove surface before you get there. If you see that groove surface coming up, you can mentally prepare for it and you'll expect what the motorcycle is gonna do because we've talked about it and you've learned about it here in this video. So again, our three tips for riding over a groove surface or a ridged road, stay relaxed in your arms and shoulders, maintain throttle, keep your head and eyes up, don't look down at the ground. Till next week guys, it's Kevin with MC Rider and I'll see you on the road.